good morning happy sunday happy valentine's day it's obviously not gonna be valentine's day when you see this but it's valentine's day when i'm doing this so i'm saying happy valentine's day to all the lovers out there anyways um i am dressed for church i have on a black shirt now mind you you guys i am on a zoom church they can't see anything below this area so as long as this area is good that's all that matters okay Anyways, I'm dressed for church and I realized that my room is a mess, okay? From doing makeup on down from doing hair, it's a mess and I cannot do my hair and makeup in this kind of environment. So your girl got to clean up. So I'm going to prop y'all up because look, I got doll heads. I need to, it's just in the way. I can't. I need to put all my new stuff that I got away. It's just so much stuff everywhere and I ain't got the tent. I don't even want to show you guys because it's so bad. It's bad. Trust me on this, you don't want to see it, it's bad. Because I'm about to do my makeup and then once I'm done with my makeup I'm gonna put it away I already did my skincare routine and I just need to do my hair so I left out those things and this is my phone and my battery pretty much done I mean I have to dump out the trash and reorganize those boxes right there I was gonna wear a straight wig today but I didn't finish straightening it yesterday and let me see what time it is it's already 8 Church starts at 9.30. It's plenty of time for me to do my hair and do all that stuff, but I don't like to rush. I like to take my time. Sometimes my eyelashes don't be coming on right. I gotta take them off, put them on. I don't wanna rush, I don't like rushing. And I like to be on time for things, or if not early. I'm not gonna wear my straight wig today. If I do wear it, then I'm just gonna have to do like a quick flat iron and stuff. And I wanted to curl it. I'm just gonna use my regular old curly wig. I just need to wet it and comb it out a little bit and it will be ready for use so i got my little doll head right here i just prop it on there with these t-pins so it won't move because i hate when my wigs be moving and i gotta hold them down so i just put two t-pins on each side and hold her down hold it down hold her down EOP. So what I usually do is I like to finger detangle with some agua, which I don't have, and I'm still getting some. Fill up my bottle on me because it's running low. I've been doing those piggyback perms. If you guys haven't checked out that video, go ahead and check it out. I did some piggyback perms for the first time, and they actually came out good. Isn't she a beaut? And she's ready to come out and her hair's gonna be nice, cute, and curvy. Try not to wet the sole of the hair because I don't like wet hair. And then it starts to stink. I ain't got time for that, y'all. Take my thinning brush and just comb through it. If you guys are interested to know what kind of hair this is, this is Naya Vista hair. I got this from her website. If you guys want to check her out, she's on Instagram, Naya Vista. She's actually a, a, a YouTube influencer as well. So check her out. I've had this hair for a couple of months and I've been wearing it consistently. It's pretty cool. It's cool. So now I'm gonna use my bouncy curls. I take about a dollar, about that much, rub it in, and then I put it all over that one side. Especially at the ends because the hair tends to like get poofy at the end a lot. So try to focus more at the ends, but I still get it at the top as well because I like my hair to be slick at the top. I don't like it to be too poofy because the frontal that I have is like really short compared to the rest of the hair, which I didn't like. See how short it is, like where it falls. And then look, it's all the way down. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I like my frontal. I don't want it to look natural. It's a wig, okay? <laughs> so I want it to match. I want the top to match the bottom. Or at least be like right here. It's way up here. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I do. And after I'm done combing it out, it's all detangle free. I'll just take my hand and I go like this. And then I'll just 
bring it up, crunch it together so it can be extra curly. And that is it, you guys. How I clean it up. So that's basically it. And it looks like this. So I'm going to do the other side and then I'm going to apply it. organ oil mousse foaming mousse because i'm i uh, combed it all the way back so i want it to stay that way just lick it down slick it back so it can stay that way and i want to wear a headband on my head today and voila it is complete so this is what I have a problem with putting stuff back when I'm done I'll be so excited to put my wig on and I'll leave this over here and it'll be here so let me start a new habit and put stuff away and this is how much fallout I got when I first got the hair it wasn't falling out as much as it is now but still that's not too much but still I wasn't getting any at first so now it's all ready to go I'm gonna take my t-pins out and you gotta be careful with putting these tea pans on your lace too, because it can rip it and then sometimes it gets stuck in there like this. So since I put a lot of oil on my face, I like to take a pad and apply some alcohol to it. Apply some of this alcohol. Ooh, great. It's too much. And I just wipe off my hairline, make sure there's no oil or anything on it because it will not stick if it has oil. So the blow dryer I'm using is Hot Tools. I got this actually in my cosmetology kit. So usually I'll put a cap on and then I'll apply my wig, but I don't have a cap. So the only thing about not applying a cap is that it's not going to last as long on your head. Because once you start sweating and all the natural oils from your face starts to come out, it's going to lift. A good thing, but a bad thing. A good thing for me because I don't like to sleep in my wigs and I don't mind applying wigs every day. A bad thing is if you don't know how to apply wigs and you're trying to keep it on for a long time. So if somebody is doing your wig, you're gonna make sure they put a wig cap on first. I'm gonna use the Ghost Bomb glue. It's cool, I mean, like I said, I don't put caps on my head like that unless I have them. So first I make sure that it's lined up correctly because one time I put my wig on and it was like this and I was like, no! I had to make it work because I was not about to redo it again. So make sure that it's lined up perfectly on each side. And then I bring it up to where I want it to lay, which is obviously on the skin. Don't put it on your hair. Um, so it comes up to about right there. So I'll take a mental note of that. And then what I need is I need my mirror. And I apply it right on that area. And then I take my little comb. They have these new combs at the beauty supplies like this. And then it has a little spatula at the end is what I like to call it. And I spread it all the way into the hair before it touched the hair. And then I take my blow dryer. I dry it to about halfway. And then I just set it on there like that. Then I take my comb to make sure that it's placed down completely. Right. In the areas of which I apply, and then I come back in. Make sure it's all the way dry. And make sure that none of the, the baby hairs are getting stuck to the glue that's seeping through the lace. pretty much as dry as it's gonna get and then also you're gonna have some pieces that didn't stick so what I do is I just do the whole head and then I just come back in and perfect it because you're not gonna get it right unless you're just that bomb <laughs> and I'm not that bomb so I gotta go back in
Okay, now that I applied it all the way around, I need to go back in. So I just lift it around just to make sure that there's no pieces lifting. See right here, there's pieces lifting right here. So I'll go in and I'll just put a little bit of glue right there, rub it in, dry it, you know the drill. Sometimes when the area is too small, I'll usually just put it on the actual spatula part of my comb and I just directly put it on there. And remember, if you get glue beyond the lace, you can always go back in with that same pad that you have the alcohol on and it will come right off. And it is all down. So now I'll take my little thing that I got from Naya Vista. It's like this, the little headband. So I'll just put it right here on the actual lace where I glue down it and I'll just keep it on there until after I'm done doing my makeup. And then when I'm ready to style my hair after I do my makeup, I'll take it off and it should be secure. So this morning I got up and I, uh, I prayed and I read the book of Proverbs and today it talked a lot about wisdom. I mean, the first couple of chapters so far have been talking about wisdom, but today it really stuck out and it really like opened my eyes to a lot of stuff. So what I learned and what stuck out to me is from Proverbs 4, 23 through 27. Keep your mouth free from perversity. Keep corrupt talk. Ugh. Keep corrupt talk far from your lips. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze, gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the path for your feet and be steadfast in all your ways. Do not turn to the right or the left. Keep your foot from evil. So it really stuck out to me and then I was reading my notes and it said, guard your heart above all else. Make sure we concentrate on the desires that will keep us on the right path. Make sure your affections push you in the right direction. And then what really stuck out was, and put boundaries on your desires. Don't go after everything you see. Look straight ahead. Keep your eyes fixed on your goal and don't get sidetracked or detoured that leads to sin. And above all, seek wisdom, even if it costs you everything. And that right there, <clears throat> that is verse seven, which is the beginning of wisdom is this, get wisdom. Though it costs all you have, get understanding. That right there is like, <laughs> the first thing you need to do is get wisdom. Like there's nothing more to that. That's basically what it's saying. Like. There's no right or wrong way. Just get it. <laughs> There's no what you need to do first before you get wisdom. No, the first thing you need to do to get wisdom is get wisdom, period, okay? So it really, it really helped me and, and it gave me a deeper understanding. And you know, like, you know, the Lord wants us to go after our heart desires. However, we need to put boundaries on it. And if it's not in his will for us to do that specific thing, you know, I guess it's, where we draw the line at like don't continue to go after it if it's not in god's will well i'm pretty sure you're not gonna be able to keep going after it if it's not in his will yeah i really loved it i really love the book of proverbs like i swear i'm like highlighting the whole chapter basically every chapter i'm highlighting a lot so yeah that's what i learned today and i'm going to apply to my life and Pray to God that he helps me, you know, apply it to my house, my house, well, yeah, my house, <laughs> apply it to my life. I'm done with my makeup and I'm joining into church right now. It is already 6:26, so 
It's already 6.26, so it starts at 9.30, so I was, wanted to check in with you guys before I got in here because I don't want to be rude and talk. So, this is my mother-in-law. She's the one that's teaching the class, so I had to join because I never really heard her preach before, so it's going to be a treat. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day. Thank you for, uh, this is the day that you have made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, you are a, a, a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, Father God. And I just pray, Lord God, that you would open the eyes of our hearts today, that we might see you in the name of Jesus. And so, God, let this lesson be a blessing to your people who have come today. I pray, Lord God, that... Um, that, Lord, you will help us to hear your word, to uh, receive it in our hearts, and that we will ultimately have a, a testimony of who you are and how good you are in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, church was over, and it was very, very good. I learned a lot that I didn't even know, and I read the book of Luke, even though she was preaching out of the book of uh, Matthew and Mark, but they're pretty much, they talk about the same thing. So, yeah, you guys, it was very good, and now I'm just about to eat some lunch and chill out. So, I'll get back to you guys when my husband turns off that music, because I don't want to get copyrighted, okay? If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys check out this video. I just dropped it today. If you haven't already, uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Help your girl out.